If you are new or naive to Findom or the spicy industry as a whole, please watch this video because I'm going to show you an example of a scammer and how it is so obvious that it is a scammer because these are tactics that they all use. And if you see any of these, you should avoid them because it's obvious that they're fake. I get on Twitter today and I see a tweet from one of my favorite doms, Mistress Marley, saying, SWs, be careful. Men like Eamon29 prey on new doms and take their money. He scammed a fellow dom out of all of her cash app earnings by sending fake screenshots. Please block and report. Which she's already a real one for that because that tweet has already gotten 3,000 views. So that's 3,000 less people that might fall for his scam. Obviously, half of us wouldn't have fallen for it to begin with. But the new girls, she's saving some people from being scammed. But let's move on. So I go to his page and this is what I see. He has his name as Anthony James Rossi, and then he has tons of photos of girls' feet with ACLV written on it. What is ACLV? Because it's not the initials of his name. It's not the initials of his handle. What does ACLV stand for? These probably aren't even getting sent to him. There are probably photos he's taking from another creator. This is one of the easiest ways to catch a scammer. If you scroll down his page, most of his posts are from 2014. Clearly a different person, different account, and a vanilla account. More often than not, fake sugar scams and regular scammers, they hack into somebody's account, like this person who hasn't used their account since 2014, but there's already tons of posts and tons of followers and following, so it looks like a real account if you don't take two seconds to do your research. And then they start posting for whatever scam they're doing. That's why there was no posts from 2014 to this year. And the very first post is from June of this year, and it's a retweet from Feet Finder. And then he starts posting his scams. I find it interesting that he's apparently scamming doms because this clearly says he's looking for a sugar baby. He's a sugar daddy. He's saying he'll spoil you with money. But it's common with scammers that they will hit numerous main markets. So he is appealing to foot content sellers, financial dominatrixes, and sugar babies. He's hitting all of them to get as many people as possible. And don't even get me started on this proof that he made a payment. It's just a screenshot of a payment from Zelle that says they received a check for $4,500, which he could have very easily edited because those numbers don't even look right or like they match. And then to prove it further, he posts another screenshot where the 4,500 is in the balance. You would not be posting your real account number and your real routing number for the entire world to see. Nobody with half a brain would do that. So this is clearly edited or fake or stolen from somebody else entirely and that's why he doesn't care. And you might say, well, he's got all these photos on his page of girls that have written ACLV. Let's just pretend that that is his handle for whatever reason. How's he getting those if he's not paying girls? Numerous ways. One, girls are sending before payment because they don't know any better. Two, he maybe did pay one or two girls at the beginning before he started scamming, or even worse, three, clueless girls are literally writing his tag on their feet for free and posting it for free for nothing in return. Why would you do this? He doesn't have to pay you for anything now. You already gave him exactly what he wanted for free. He posts another example of a recent payment on one of his baby's credit cards. And again, it's just a screenshot saying you've successfully submitted a payment on a Victoria's Secret credit card. That could be his girlfriend's card, his mom's card. He could have paid a dollar. That's not proof of paying anybody. The most egregious one of all though, and this was his most recent post, and this is probably why he was able to scam people. He has another post that says, this is a verification video from one of my babies that just got paid to her credit card. Like I say, I'm a man of my word. And again, the proof is literally just a screenshot that says your payment of $800 has been scheduled for October 24th. Your payment of $1,010 has been scheduled for October 24th. Nowhere does it say that he's paying an actual person, that he's not paying a bill, that it's not his own bank account. This is not proof. This is not proof of paying anybody or anything. Screenshots do not count. Appreciate Anthony James Rossi. He pays me just to talk to me, and I really do appreciate that. So babies are out there and you want to hit him up he's good for it it is not uncommon to see scammers post a video like this of proof that they send and typically it's a video they've stolen from somebody else like half the time it will be a sugar mom and then the video is somebody saying 
he paid me, he's so great. Like it's very obvious they're not talking about the person that's posting the video. This video has his actual name, which means either he paid her to make this video, she knew what she was doing, she accepted the money, new girls were gonna get scammed out of it, and she's completely in the wrong for it. Or he may have paid her a couple times and she thought that he was legit and that's why she made a video to verify it. But like, why would you do that? If he's paying you already and he's legit, why do you care if he's gonna end up paying other people? It's not on you to prove he's legit to other girls that are gonna take some of the money away from you that you're getting. And I just know that some girls are gonna look at that and be like, well, this is a real person claiming he really sent, it must be legit, even though everything about it screams red flag. And I have no idea how he managed to scam a dom out of all of her cash app earnings. I'm guessing she gave him her cash app information because he's clearly showing screenshots that he pays on accounts. So he's doing something like, give me your login information for Victoria's Secret and I'll make a payment. Or give me your bank information and I'll send you a payment. Probably the same deal. Give me your cash app, I'll add cash to it. And then he just drained her entire account. Which leads me to wonder again, if you are a financial dominatrix, why are you responding to pages that say they're sugar daddies or that they're looking to do content buying? That's not how that works. They're looking for a demographic that is not you. And it's unfortunate that girls out there are gonna lose hundreds or thousands of dollars because they're too naive or too clueless to see the red flags. So please be cautious when people like this are on the internet because there's a million of them out there and somehow people still fall for it every single day.